It's Friday. Finally Friday. Finally. What do you think about this lovely weather we have? I wish if Mississippi did anything, it would be figure out the weather. Because one day you're froze and there's no ice on the ground. Next day you're frozen inside because there's snow and ice everywhere. Next day it's mudslides. And today That's... it's like dense fog out there. You can't see nothing in front of you. <laughs> I know it's crazy. We went from like negative five to sixty-five yes. overnight. Yeah, and then last we sold a bunch of jackets the week before the snow, which last week was our snow and ice. So the week before that, everybody was like coming on here buying like our big thick jackets. Well, they got on here. We couldn't run last week. We tried to run Monday, which was a mistake because we slid getting down our driveway and then turned around slid everywhere else couldn't go to certain shops because they were mm -hmm. the highway was okay but if as soon as you turn off the highway you're sliding so oh. we had to turn around and just <laughs> head back into town which it's as you know rough. mississippi is like a bunch of back roads but yeah so they got on here sweating the rest of the week because we started working wednesday yeah. well i'm gonna blame all them people up north because they said this was that northern arctic air was given well, I can keep that northern Arctic air up there. That's what I was going to say. Y'all keep that mess up there. If we wanted to live in the cold, we'd move up there. You exactly. So y'all keep y'all's mess up there. You know, it's always every other state that's messing up our state. You know that? Exactly. California's done killed it for diesels and can't even get good brake clean no more. And now all the northerners are sending their cold mess down here. Well, then they come down here also. And I, I mean, we, Michael has friends that are up north. And I mean, they'll come down here and it's like, we're burning alive and it's like 50 degrees outside I'm like you know this is good this is good weather <laughs> yeah. it's 90 degrees and they're about over having a heat stroke that's right but i mean it happens i actually talked to a customer last night he gave us a call he's uh from louisiana and he said we're not that far apart in miles he said but he didn't get no lick of snow no ice or nothing i'm like well we got froze in yeah <laughs> so it was it was an adventure for sure. Well, I got to brag on the the uh, pack out. Did a great job. I oh, think holds nice. a lot of tools. Easy to work. Like I put all my junk in there. And of course, after I got it all packed up and moved it out of the way, you know, I was like, I need to get this. And I was like, all right, I knew which box it was in. It didn't take me no time to pull the boxes off and get what I needed. Like mm -hmm. that's. That was money well spent. I'm very pleased with that. So Yeah, see, both of these are actually sold on our Tuesday route. Mm -hmm. We didn't work Tuesday because we couldn't get yeah. down the roads, but they're excited for them. We they actually, work great. They really they do. They do. And I'm not going to say, because I know that it says right here there's no step somewhere on here. It, yeah, right there it says no step. If you had to use it for a step. Right let's say to get ice off the top of your your truck because you know you're not supposed to ride with a full sheet of ice on top of a maco truck or any truck at that yeah if let's say that if the driver had to use the lift gate to stand on top of and then stand on top of the pack out to get on top of the truck It'll to work. clean it off in a parking lot yeah it worked <laughs> well i can say this i'm very pleased with them them pack out boxes it did perfect for what i wanted so I went to Lowe's and was looking, I had to get my paint and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. while I was waiting on mix up my paint and other tool sections right there across. Yeah, the that's right there next to it. So they've got some other brands, um, Flex and two or three other brands. I went over I and looked Milwaukee at- Walt has one too. At their stuff that they had. And yeah. that Milwaukee is far superior, you know, the way it's built and set up and oh, others. Yeah. So I'm pleased with it. They're nice, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, they're actually supposed to be adding some more to the line. I know that um, I got Michael one for Christmas, but he also has a lot of, which I think he talked or touched a bit on it, like, you know, just the loose end, like the mm -hmm. wire nuts and yep. stuff like that. Well, they have some clear lid ones. I've seen those at Home Depot, and I almost bought one, and I said, nope. <laughs> I'm gonna wait and get Michael and Leslie to order it in that way. I can support my local people because well, we Home Depot that. don't come to the shop. Yeah. I know. And they don't like to warranty stuff out either. We've heard a lot of that because somebody, they'll get on here, hey, can you, uh, I didn't buy this Milwaukee impact from you, but mm -hmm. is there any way that you could send it off? Because they went back to Home Depot where they bought it from 
they didn't have the receipt and Home Depot was a stickler yeah. from their thing saying that you have to have your receipt from when you bought it and all this. I'm like, that's a five year warranty. I can't keep up with a receipt for yeah. from the store to my truck. That's much less. I'm, saying. I'm doing good to get it home. <laughs> so. Exactly. Well, my yeah. kids like to throw stuff around the truck anyway, so it's Well fun. I looked down, I got the deep clear lids and the shallow clear lids and then they got the half clear lids, so I want the full deep clear lid so i'll just get you to order that whenever it comes in i'll get it so. yeah and they come with separators also so mm -hmm. you know if you have a bunch of different random stuff that you've lost the bag to because you decide to rip it open in the middle instead of ripping up up top where the ziplock is yeah we i know that, that feeling <laughs> <laughs> well what y'all got new and cool this week well the ice kind of slowed our orders down mm -hmm. because we have not received a package in a week well since that week but we've started kind of trickling in which is okay but I think I don't know if Michael showed it or not so there's a lot right here and it is called if I get it to the English side because I can't read Spanish yet well I guess that is English. it's a 10 watt light okay so it's pretty neat as you can see it's pretty long but um it has a thousand lumens or on the second click, it's 400 lumens. Wow. So if you run it for a thousand lumens, it's only gonna run two hours. If you run the 400 lumens, it runs for five. Well, I've seen that Matco's coming out with a new color. They are, I won't bring it up, but. The teal. I told Michael, teal so. color. So they sent out our, our DM sent out a, it's called a pre-expo mm -hmm. showcase or whatever. And, Michael said, you can't look at it. And I said, I can't look at it. He said, yeah. Oh, you like teal, man. Teal was like my color. Like, yeah. That's my, I told him, I said, okay. I said, so when I seen it, I said, I'm going to take all my purple stuff and we're going to sell this like trade-in on the Michael truck. That way, you know, I can get all my teal. And I said, so we're going to order a bunch of bundles. That way I can just get one of everything. And I said, you know, this, because they're going to have a, now this is a limited time. So it's only an expo thing. We're hoping that they make it hard line like purple is because we have a lot of customers that are excited about it along with me but anyways so they have a box that come out and i'm not sure how to explain it. i'm not sure the part number on it but it's the one that has the pull out drawer that has where you can mm -hmm. put your impacts and stuff like that yes so. i've seen that in the in the flyer preview or whatever yes. I, i'm a little mixed on the teal like are you? yeah I mean, it's, I'm just, it's a good color. I don't know. I'm not. It's okay. I mean, everybody's got their color. Like, I'm not really a purple fan. Like, exactly. You know, I like purple better than maroon. But purple is better than maroon. Um, you know, like I, I like the blue and the orange. Like, if I had to rank Matco's color, I would say my favorite color is blue, yeah. and then the orange, and then the green, and then the red red, not the maroon red. Yeah, the and then everything red. else kind of goes in there. It don't really matter if I have to have a tool and it's that color, I would use it, but I wouldn't like well, go out of my way to add that color. Well, um, you said that you seen that on like online. Did you see the Miami Vice cart? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those were cool. Yes. Yeah, they did a good job on that. So I kind of put it toward that line. Mm -hmm. So those were a limited run too, because you know we did the limited eighty series and did separate ones. Yeah. So when they did those they said okay we only have this allotted amount well everybody sold through them mm -hmm. well now they've actually brought them back so we're hoping that we can get our hands on one of those along with the teal bundle and you know make a big old tool cart bundle the coolest matco color special box or whatever that that i remember y'all had is remember the one that had like the 80s stripe on it. It's like a red and orange and blue. Like red, the orange, pinstripe? Black. Yeah, and it had like the... I don't remember. It's kind of like the Toyota Helix or yeah. something like that, you know. It was it was a really cool little box. Like, Did you see the picture where somebody actually bought that and had the truck to go along the side of it? Really? Yes, that's it's cool. online. I'm not sure who it was, so I don't know who to give credit to, but it was, it was pretty that's neat. That's cool. Like, that's probably one of the things that if I could go back now, I would have bought that car yes. but maybe they'll come out with like another 80s theme like that because that was really cool the colors yeah. it was on there they're pretty neat though you know as popular as broncos and stuff is they should come out with like um you know a, the bronco remember they had those little stripe packages on the broncos it was real cool back in the day yeah 
Now, or, the Bronco also was like white on top or a color on top. They mm, was two tone. Yeah. So you could do the lid with it over and then do the box a different color. Oh. And then do like a Mustang thing. Well, yeah. That'd be cool, you know, have like the Shelby stripes on it and stuff. Now, which one was it that they went from, they're not doing gas engines no more, they went straight electric? Was it the the one that did the Hellcat? Oh, yeah, Dodge. They, you yeah. know, they just did their last run of gas engines. Well, I heard that stadium. they was doing away with the V8, but I didn't know. I figured they'd do like Toyota or something, come out with like a double, triple, quadruple turbo V6 or something. I don't know. <laughs> so. Uh, We'll see. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. They, that's above my pay grade is what I say. It kinda, it's kind of sad that our grandkids will never get to hear that rumble of a V8 car with a cam in it in yeah. their life. It kind of sucks. It's not. It is what it is. Anyway, <laughs> back on this. <laughs> back on the light. Sorry about that. So it has two magnets on the end. Okay. And that end. So it's a bar pretty neat and then it has your clips that's a good thing because nothing's made of metal yeah. anymore and it has your battery indicator because everybody needs to know when their battery's just gonna die because if you're like my kids you wait till it's starting to flash and then you're saying yeah. well yeah so that's the first click that second click and then off okay. so it's simple Very it's nice. not one of those where you got to hold it down and it's going to dim and you don't know what the lumens is Please tell me it's got USB-C. Yes. Perfect. It Look does. at that. Good deal. But it don't come with a block. Okay. So you know that as yeah. now. So. That's kind of come the norm, ain't it? It is. But it's pretty neat. I mean, and then your ends. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of like a mini hood light. Yeah. I like it. Very nice. Yeah. And I like the fact that the part number's right there. So mm -hmm. whenever I decide to hang it up, where Michael hangs it, uh, we're not hunting for the box trying to find the part. <laughs> there you go. So, I know you remember James Beard, and he was at our meetup. Yeah. He's the guy that's always dressed. He's always, I, I can guarantee you, when you see James, he's wearing one of two things. It's going to be Alabama stuff, or it's going to be snap-on stuff. All right. Like, I think every shirt in his closet, he's probably got two sides of his closet, Alabama and snap-on, because that's the only thing I've ever seen the man wear. And I love James to death, but he's in the market for a new scan tool. All right, then. All right. So well, he actually called me yesterday, and we was talking about scan tools and stuff. He was talking about, I'm going to look at the Zeus and this and that. I'm like, have you considered the Maximus 5.0? And he says, well, I kind of tossed it around a little bit because Michael did the video when, yeah. you know. So when when is this scan tool actually going to be out where everybody it can? Is actually out now okay. so we're waiting on our demo now we've ordered but we're just waiting on mm -hmm. it but yes you can order it now now i will tell you this if he doesn't have one i know that we are going to have one that's on sale but i don't know if he has a maco distributor somewhere else so we're not going to step you know sure. step over on somebody else's toes because you know we wouldn't like them stepping on our toes mm -hmm. so we're not going to step on theirs but Yes, it is out, and they could be coming up on deal. Good. On our truck. There you go. <laughs> so, you might ask your distributor. I think they may have a trade-in on them right now, depending on how your distributor got into the Max 5. So, but they're nice. We've had a bunch of distributors sell them. I mean, they're, it's one of those that I can't wait till we get ours so we can mess around with it. Our kids like to play Angry Birds on ours right now. Yeah. So, I mean, just a... <laughs> They just see it as a, a big old heavy duty tablet, but you know. Well, I got another confession I have to make that I bought from this truck that I feel is a better product than the replacement for it. <laughs> so you remember when you guys first started running, I bought a pair of red bands. Yeah. From you guys. So obviously it's hard to get red bags, right? So before, I know you painted up, we had that second oh, yeah. row this filled whole up thing was completely full <laughs> the week before christmas i guess that's what everybody wanted was mm -hmm. red back boots and streamline <laughs> so like i won't go over this real quick because you guys have no whatever they use in the bottom of this clear material on these soles uh -huh. 
Like if they ever made a set of tires on that, you can almost lifetime guarantee those tires. Pretty much. That stuff don't ever wear out, ever. Nope. Like every pair of boots I've got, I always wear the back off back here and then right here in the, I guess the ball of your foot part, I always wear it off. So my red backs were looking rough because I got a hole in the toe. And uh, so I was gonna wash and clean them up. I pulled the insole out. I didn't walk holes completely through the insoles. Now I know that can be replaced, yeah. but mine was still the factory insoles. Now I bought those boots when y'all first started. I think that was my second purchase. So that I'm was on. almost five years, it was five years ago. So the boots were looking rough, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so every time I come on here, I look up there, cause I wear a 14, but in red back, so I wear a 13. Yeah. So every time I come on here, I'd look and they wasn't a 13. Yeah. So I got a pair of blunt stock. Cause they look like red backs and then you read about them and they talk all this big junk online about how awesome they are. Yeah. Well, I ordered a pair. I can tell you, they're not red backs. They're not red backs at all. Cause like I like to wear the little short socks. Yep. These have a different line in them. Yeah, and they rub your yeah. ankles. Those blunt stones don't. So anyway, and the soles is not the same. They're not as squishy. They're definitely not the same boot. Even though they claim to be and all yeah. this, they've got the solid black soles. I don't know. I just, I wish I would've went back with the red backs over the blunt stones. I don't feel like they're as good of boots. I know they're not as comfortable of boots. And it seems like there's difference in like the leather too. It's like a, it's just a different feel. Now blunt stone, correct me if I'm wrong, it's the same ones that we carry also. I don't know. They're, the other Australian. They're like company. a brown box and it says, it's got like blue writing on it. It says blunt stone or whatever. Don't get me lied. To me, I, I just I think the red backs is a better made boot. So, now, but they're just you, hard to get. Like you can't are. order red backs anymore. Now, I'll tell you this: we had it is blunt stone that we sell, mm -hmm. but we carry the black ones. I don't think we carry the brown ones. But oh, mine's black. It's just uh, the box is brown. Oh, I got but, you. Yeah, I just um, I feel like the red backs is a better made. I mean, Boot. I'll tell you this, since I've been on the truck, I've never had anybody come back on here and say, I want to return these because mm -hmm. they, which one their shoes, you can't return Yeah. But um, they've never come back on here even asking. Now, I'll tell you this, Michael forewarned you, hey, it's going to take about a week to break them in. Mm -hmm. Don't do nothing, you know, just ridiculous trying to break them in. Just put on your thick pair of socks and yeah. strike out. But... I guess it's just all in. Some people have a lot of it's preference too, you yeah. know. And maybe I'm comparing, you know, apples and oranges. They look the same, but there's there's just a different feel. It's like they're not as squishy in the bottom. Yeah. I don't know, but I'll tell you this. I like those. Michael's red backs. got a pair of red backs at the house, and he had a pair of the blunt stones when they first come out. Mm -hmm. Now his is the steel toe ones, and they've got the. The redone toe on them so yeah. you know redbacks you can buy the right, caps the that go caps. on with this one's the steel toe ones are made on there mm -hmm. which is no big deal but he's like 50 50 if he knows that he's going to go work on something or something like that he'll stick the blunt stones on if he's just walking around the house you know during the snow he has his redbacks on mm -hmm. but they're both australian made boots like you said it's preference I'd probably go more toward the red back, yeah. even though they're kind of sticky to get right now. But I'll tell you this, where our nine and a halfs were on back order for, they were a year that we ordered them. And I mean, we had five pairs that were on back order. We started getting one pair in, well then somebody else ordered them. So I just went ahead and stuck them on there. So that just gave me an extra pair. All five of them come in at the same time. Well, it would be six pair that I got right. within a week. So I'm still got sitting on a pair of nine and a halves, but that's our most popular size for around here. Mm -hmm. Now, I had somebody order a pair of 13s. No, it was, they wear a 13 to be a 12 redback, correct? Right. They ordered them two, three weeks ago before the whole ice debacle. 
they got here. So I think they're getting it. Mm -hmm. It's just slow to yes. come in. Well, I know whatever material that is, it's on the bottom of these. That is some amazing stuff. That now, clear, now you said rubbery that looking stuff. Yours is still good on the bottom, right? It's yeah. just the top. That's the most common is like, you're gonna wear the shoe mm -hmm. out on top, the cloth and the leather yeah. before you wear the That's some damn out. good boots. Like that's, that's all I can say about it. Those <laughs> red backs are damn good boots. They are. So yeah, that means you want me to put your size 13 on order right now, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back. Like I tried the blunt stones and I wore them for two weeks because I'm thinking, okay, they're new. They'll, they'll break in, you know. Yeah. And like after two weeks, I still don't like them as well as I do. Like I wish I could, like take the good out of the blunt stones and just shove them in my old red backs and keep trucking because yeah. you know, they're good boots. I mean. They always make a mash of everything else. I mean, you might as well try. Yeah. There you go. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> I've probably bored y'all enough talking about snow and the northerners and California running stuff and clear stuff on the bottom of boots. So that's that. <laughs> All right, guys. Hopefully, y'all have a great weekend. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your fang danger and click that button. You guys have a great weekend. See ya.